Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day. Hope you're doing well. So let's see today's problem, peak element. Okay, so what the problem is saying is, let's see it through an example. So we want to find out a peak element. Now, what is a peak element? A peak element is an element which is greater than the than its adjacent elements. For example, so eight is a peak element. Why? Because it is greater than uh, this three and seven, which are the adjacent, which are its adjacent elements. Okay, so that is why this is a peak element. And we want to return the index of the peak element. Whatever is the index? For example, here, what is the index? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we want to return 5, basically, okay? Which is the index of the peak element, okay? And you want to return whichever is the first peak element you come across, you have to return that particular index, okay? So that's what the ask is, okay? So it's it's a very simple problem. Definitely, the difficulty level is uh, basic. Now, uh, simple. Now, what are we going to do? We are just going to iterate, right? We are just We'll start iterating. Uh, we'll start iterating from this particular element and we'll check the previous and the next element. If if the if if the current element, if it is greater than the previous and the next element, that means we have found the peak element and we are going to return the index. Okay. So let's code. Okay, you'll understand better. Okay, before going to the code, I'll please please subs uh, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. Okay, so let's quickly code. First of all, let's take this n. What is n? So first I'll show the Java code followed by C and dot length. Okay. And then what are we going to have? We are going to have a for loop which will run from one, the second element, okay? And it will run till the second last element because we want to check the previous and the next element. That is why, okay? That's the reason. Now, what are we going to check? If r of i, if it is greater than r of i minus one, sorry, i minus one, and it also needs to be greater than, it's the next element, okay? Greater than r of i plus one. If we have found this condition, if any element which matches this condition, that means that is a peak element and we'll simply return i. Okay. If we don't find any element which is a peak element, we'll return minus one. Okay, minus one. Okay. So this will cover most of your test cases. Now we want to handle few exceptional test cases. Okay, some some uh for example, right? Some some corner scenarios, okay. Some corner cases. For example, if this is a, a sample array, one, two, three, four, right? This is a sample array. Now you see this is all. Ascending order, right? It is sorted in ascending order. Now, which is a peak element here? We will say that this is a peak element. Why? Because it is greater than its previous element and it does not have next element, but still it qualifies for the peak element. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to check for this condition. Okay. So here we have n, right? Here we have n. We're going to check if r of n minus one, which is the last element, if it is greater than r of n minus two, right? Which is a previous element, the second last element. Then we have to return n minus one. Okay. Second uh, corner scenario is for the corner cases. For example, if this is the uh, array, right, which is which is a sorted array, right. So now if you see the first element, it does not have any previous element, but the next element it is greater than the next element. Okay. So this makes it qualified for the peak element. Okay. So what we are going to do here is we are going to check here if sorry and if r of i if r of zero if r of 0, if it is greater than r of 1, then we'll return 0 index, right? And the last case is, for example, if the array contains only one element, right? If n equal to equal to 1 only, then we want to return whatever is the element in that particular array will return the 0th position, right? The 0th position. That's it. That's it. These are the corner cases we have handled. Let's compile this. So what will be the time complexity here? We can say it is going to be O of n because we are iterating the, through the array once. Okay. Okay. Let's submit it. I hope you've got the solution. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video. Let's quickly see the C++ code as well. It's the same. It's almost the same. Only we are using r dot size here for the array size. Okay. That's it. I'll attach the code in the description section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video. I wish you a very happy, healthy, wealthy and a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you.